Another important aspect of oil palm production that have a direct impact on your productivity is weed management. After, let me say, after planting the best variety, after planting in the right location, after nutrient and fertilizer application, the next thing that is very, very important is weed management. And on today's episode, I'll be talking about weed management in oil palm uh, production. If you are watching this channel for the first time, my name is Lawa Lushala Lawa, and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. So if exactly that is what you've been waiting or looking out for, kindly click on subscribe button to have access to more of my videos. Thank you so much. So um, on today's episode, we'll be looking at uh, weeding in oil palm farming. Uh, ways by which we can manage weed effectively on our oil palm farm and the principle guiding it, the little principle guiding it. So uh, in oil palm farm, as we all know, uh, oil palm farm due to the spacing, we usually have a very wide tarot spacing and so therefore if care is not taken, weed can be a very very serious problem. So now, and weeding in your farm can be done in so many ways. You can do it manually, you can do it uh, using a mechanical way, a, using a tractor driven uh, weeder. You can use it, you can use a uh, chemical weeding, and you can even use a uh, biological weeding. So in each of them, there are principles guiding it. And uh, there are times that each of them will go the best. So let's first look at a very, very young plantation. One of the advice I usually advise, I, I usually give out to oil palm farmer, especially the new one, is that immediately you start, you set up your farm. I advise you the following month, cultivate intercrop. Cultivate intercrop, as in intercrop the, your field with short maturing crop now apart from the fact that intercrop will serve as a source of income for your from your farm while you are waiting for the oil palm to start fruiting it's a very very effective way of also controlling weed it brings about the suppression of weed especially when you are planting uh cover crops crops like soya bean crops like uh, cowpea crops like melon watermelon uh, pineapple and so on and so forth melon so much and that's another way that's the first way i'll be talking about intercrop and which is very 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 important so um uh, talking about weeding generally there are two ways that is very very important in carrying out your weeding in oil palm farm we have the ring weeding and we have the interro uh, spacing weeding the two are very very important but you see that ring weeding it is more important. You must not joke with it. You must not joke with it. And so talking about how to carry out the ring weeding. The ring weeding is a very clean weeding you carry out around your oil palm tree. And meanwhile, you it is being done in stages. When your oil palm is at one year, you have to make sure that you make you make it one meter round. As in, the clean space should be one meter round. When they are two years, you make it two meters round. When they are three years, you make it three meters round. And at three meter, that is what you maintain throughout the lifespan of your plantation. Now, the, important, the importance of this is that, number one, it prevents, uh, it prevents uh, weed from direct competition with your oil palm tree. That's number one. And number two is that whenever you are applying fertilizer, uh, you will be rest assured that the palm tree is getting the full benefit of, from these fertilizers. So that is the importance of uh, ring weeding. And talking about the entire row spacing weeding, this can be done using a uh, cutlass by slashing. It can be used, it can be done uh, using chemical fertilizer spraying or using tractor to mow it. So this is also very, very important because 
it helps you to have a very clear view of your farm and it prevents your farm from diseases and pests that is the one of the most important uh, aspects of weeding one if it if you if you get your weeding right if you get your weeding 100 percent right you have actually prevented your farm from 50 percent pest and disease because uh, insect pest that causes diseases uh, weed provide them with accommodation so when you get rid of weed on your farm you've actually prevented diseases and pests on your farm and another thing is that so many people will leave their their farm to be very very bushy and this is very very bad you are putting your investment at risk and most especially in the in the dry season when all the dry all, all the grasses are dry and you have your 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 farm full of wheat you are you are susceptible to to bushfire or like a farm that is clear of wheat and if by the slightest mistake one fire spark up somewhere all those weeds that are dry they will spark up and they will allow this fire to to burn your farm very well so you are doing yourself more harm than good by not uh within your farm regularly so uh apart from the fact that it will make your farm to look neat it will allow you to manage your farm very well it even makes you to spend less in terms of fertilizer in terms of management and everything so with this i've come to the end of today's topic and i hope you got value one way or the other if you actually got value from this video kindly give it a like share with your friends and see you on my next video shishi